Sunday the 20th of September 2020, we will stage eight races at Hollywood Bet Scottsville, obviously on the turf, and uh, eight races, eight competitive uh, heats that will await. And let's see how we can start off the proceedings here. Race one is the September's Child Maiden Plate. It's over 1,000 meters and it's carded to go off at 20 past 12. And quite a, an interesting race that opens up proceedings. A horse that caught my eye immediately when I had a look at the form guides was number nine, Battle of Sterling, Louis Gerson's horse for the International Racing Club, Suzette Fillion and all their partners. That's number nine, Battle of Sterling. Ran a very good race last time when running second to on a high note. Uh, under a young apprentice, Carl Stradham, who retains the ride. And I think Battle of Sterling is going to be the one they're going to have to all set their uh, eyes on. Interesting runner for me is number six, Freedom's Fire. Gavin Van Sale, Clive Murphy, Warren Kennedy. Uh, the daughter of Karari had a barrier trial some time ago, finishing fourth uh, of ten runners, ten lengths to Filippo. And I keep an eye on this horse. Let's have a look at how she looks in the parade ring. Let's have a look at how she goes to post because I think she's going to run an absolute cracker on debut. She could be anything. One uh, that uh, is the top of the speed form rating column is Seventh Song, Michael Roberts' horse, who's improving with racing. Certainly got to have a chance. Ran second to Solicitor General last time and uh, he could certainly be worth including in the quartets. Vanderbar, horse number three for Doug Campbell, lightly raced. Andrew Harrison's quite big on this son of Var. Uh, a fair run last time to Native Tongue. My only concern is that uh, there's been seven runners, zero winners thus far out the form line. And uh, that Native Tongue form line is uh, starting to get me a little bit worried. One other I'd like to touch on is Blanchetta, who's the best weighted uh, horse in the race. She gets uh, the drop to 1,000 metres and a pair of blinkers for Mark Dixon, Keegan DeMello and Rupert Plush, and that could be the winning recipe. But in saying that, she has had enough chances.